to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. At least Rachel Amber has people who care about her. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. How so? Sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh God, you need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch! Nothing but a butterfly. You're full of shit. I'd respect you more if you told me the truth. I don't need your respect. You're clueless. You have no idea who I am or what I can do. Actually, I have a pretty good idea of who you are. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. 
It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? No, it felt like a real city for artists. Big and bright. Great for taking pictures. Yeah, must be hard coming back to a hick town like Arcadia again. Not after seeing you. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I wanted to. I was just so tripped out over leaving Arcadia. Oh, please. I'm sure your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. We used to dare each other to climb down, but never did. I think this junk swallowed her discs. Who'd have thought Chloe wouldn't pay her parking tickets? She does love trouble. She looks super happy. She looks super sad. She looks super stoned. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room.
We had such a blast drawing these together. Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. It reeks like dirty laundry. Gross. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Houston, we have the power, but we need to find a disc to play. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly.
that's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I never forgot, even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. I wonder if Chloe is taking those pills. I hope she's okay. I like Chloe's new hair color. She's the opposite of shy. Of me. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Oh shit, poor thing. I bet I could do something to save it. You've been resurrected, Birdie. Fly, be free. Joyce looks happy.
Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joy still works at the diner. And Chloe's new dad is a security guard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. Chloe and I knocked over Joyce's wine bottle and we scrubbed forever, but it never came out. We got so busted. Come on, open it, chicken. Hold on, and I'm not chicken. Prove it. You drink first, Max. No way. It was your idea, Chloe. Whatever. Give me that bottle. Well? Tasty. Very tasty. Here, I, I want a sip. Sorry, this is not for kids. Don't be greedy. Give me some. Oh shit, the carpet! There's wine all over. What do we do now? My parents are coming. Cover it up! Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepfather is this asshole from Blackwell? You've got to be shitting me. A map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. What the? 
Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. These are way too... No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. This is so lame. Shit! Butterfingers! This... Oh, man. I'm always... Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Cool, now it's opened. No need to go there now. I can feel Autumn pushing out the summer. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. That took Chloe and me the whole day to draw. It's almost invisible now. What do you truly want to do when you grow up? Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. 
I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. Yes, score. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I don't want to look at these creepy photos again. Why does David have them? Chloe, if you're listening, Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous and you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there stay away I'm serious no reason to go now These are way too big. Boom, precision screwdrivers. Except I can't reach them. That was very smart, dumbass. No can reach. Man, I should have done that before they fell. Yes, you have mad skills, Max. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway.
You found the tools. Sweet. You can sit at my desk and fix your camera. So? I can't fix this thing. Are these your new photos? Yeah. I just took them today. Let me see. Are you shitting me? That asshole's everywhere. Wait. I've seen this before. Uh... No way. When did you take this? You took this photo, you brat? In the bathroom today. You set off the alarm. That's why Nathan raged after you. It totally makes sense. You hella saved my life. Now tell me the truth, Max. I was there, hiding in the corner. Damn, you're a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. I just took a butterfly photo. That is so badass. Oh yeah, I almost wet myself when I saw the gun. So, did you recognize me? Not at all. Your hair and clothes are so different. I hope so. I'm sure this is all so weird to you after coming back. Like you said, it's been that kind of day. So you must have overheard our conversation. Just a bit. There is no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I only heard something about money, drugs, but that's it. Now for the big question. Did you tell anybody? No, I didn't know what to do. I don't blame you. That's some intense shit. Maybe I should go to the principal. The principal? Are you still 12? That drunk jackass only cares about cash for Blackwell Academy. Don't trust him. Seriously, I didn't blab to anybody. Promise. Thank God. I'll tell you more someday. And I seriously owe you, Max. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. That's so cool you remembered my birthday. But I can't take this. Of course you can. My dad would be pissed if I never used it, and now I know it'll be used awesomely. And I'll snag this picture as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. You're crazy. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. Song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yes, break it down, Max. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. How many times have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? Dude, the music's not even on. Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Oh, no fucking way. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. Chloe, what's going on? Open this door, please. Chill, I'm changing. Is that okay? Max, find a place to hide now. <sighs> Chloe, I'm coming. What are you doing? Chloe, you're stuck. I'm not a kid anymore. I'm I can't changing. hide Give under the bed. Minute. Where else? Get smart. Just let me in now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing up. Chloe, you're stalling. I'm changing. Give me a minute. Don't get smart. Just let me in. Now. Please. One second. My bra is stuck. I'm not screwing around, soldier. Shit. What's going on in here? Jesus, I'm just trying on clothes. You're so friggin' paranoid. Yeah, combat will do that to you. One of my guns is missing. 
Did you take it? Oh god, I didn't take your stupid gun. You do know I believe in gun control? Wait! Is that grass? You been token up again in here? Oh yeah, guns, weed. You were tripping balls. I'm sick of your disrespect. Tell me the truth. That's an order. Whose is it? Stop treating me and my mom like we're your family platoon! Hey! Leave Joyce out of this! I wish you'd leave Joyce! Like now! Chloe, I'm sorry. I care about your mother and you just keep pushing me. By the way, I have proof you got all up in Kate Marsh's face today. Surveillance proof. What? You best stay out of my work. Then stay out of my life. Chloe, someday you'll grow up. Hey, you okay? Welcome to the real step douches of Arcadia Bay. I'm sorry. For what? He would have been a bigger dick if he caught you in here. That's hard to believe. Anyway, let's sneak out the window. There is one cool place we can go to in this hick hole. David was such a mean bastard to Chloe. What if I had stepped up to help? I haven't been here in forever, so why do I feel like I was just here? Oh, this is the exact same path I was on during my nightmare today. I feel like I'm in my nightmare again. Birds are so lucky, they can always escape. Oh my god, I forgot all about this. Too bad I can't rewind that far back. Looks like the youth of Arcadia Bay still come up here to party. I never made it. Clearly, the Bigfoots are everywhere. How long has that been here? Sure you don't want to be alone? Sit down if you want. Are you pissed at me? I just wanted some backup. I'm not as brave as you. 
And David is indeed a step douche. I'm sorry you had to experience it firsthand. You have to live with him. Has he always been this way? Ever since my desperate mom dragged his ass to our home, I never trusted David. I'm glad I took his photo with Kate. Just in case. Why was he all up in her shit? He has some kind of weird agenda. He has a lot of secret files. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. Did you take a peek? Well, yeah. I couldn't help it. Never change. What did you find? Creepy photos of Kate Marsh. Other Blackwell students. This dude takes his job too seriously. He still thinks he's at war or something. He's a total surveillance fetish. Where are there spy cams in the house? I knew you didn't know. Chloe, your house is under surveillance. What are you talking about? There are cameras all over the house. I saw it on a monitor in the garage. I knew it! He's so hella fucking paranoid! I'll keep this a secret for now. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. No wonder I'm so miserable. Everybody in this town knows everybody's secrets. What's Nathan's secret? He's an elite asshole who sells bad shit cut with laxative. And he dosed me with some drug in his room. What? I met him in some shithole bar that didn't card me. He was too rich for the place and too wasted and he kept flashing bills. Just tell me what happened, Chloe. Now. I was an idiot. I thought he was so blazed it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Actually, yes. I owe big time. And I thought I'd have enough for me and Rachel if she showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand plus interest. And before I could get a chunk of that from Nathan, he dosed my drink with some shit. God, Chloe. I can't believe this. I mean, I do. Then what? I know I passed out on the floor. I woke up and that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. Go on. Everything was a blur. I tried to kick him in the balls and broke a lamp. Nathan freaked, so I managed to bum-rush the door and get the hell out. <sighs> Max, it was insane. I am so furious, I can't even speak. What did you do then? I figured I would make him pay me to keep quiet. So we met in the bathroom. And he brought a gun. That was Nathan's last mistake. He's still dangerous, Chloe. Not just to you. Good thing you didn't tell anyone. Nathan Prescott better watch his back now. I won't always be there to save you. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. This shit pit has taken away everyone I've ever loved. I'd like to drop a bomb on Arcadia Bay and turn it to fucking glass.
never seen a storm like this in Ongarken. for the town. Chloe, you're here. I'm back. Oh my lord, this is real. It's real. Oh man, this sucks. Max, what's going on? You totally blacked out. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Oregon gets about five tornadoes every 20 years. You just zoned. No, no, I saw it. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Come on, take a breath, okay? Chloe, I'm not crazy. But there's something else I have to tell you. Something hardcore. Talk to me, Max. I had the same vision earlier in class. When I came out of it, I discovered I could reverse time. Like I said, not crazy. But hi, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom? By reversing time? Yeah, sure. I saw you get shot, Chloe. Saw you actually die. I was able to go back and hit the fire alarm. Okay, I see you're a geek now with a great imagination, but this isn't anime or a video game. People don't have those powers, Max. I don't know what I have, but I have it. And I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hell insane fucking day. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? It's like 80 degrees. How? Climate change. Or a storm is coming. Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. 